up everybody now we back with part two of free artist development now that you know how to copyright your music right you know how to claim your ownership and say this is mine you can't have this and if you want this you owe me something all right so that's out the way now let's talk about something a little more uh how do you say important <laughs> now nah, nothing's more important than your copyrights but also what is very important is your name you created this name it's very unique whether you're a band a label or an individual it doesn't matter it's your name you don't copyright your name because what is that doing that just says you own the name but you don't own the name you own the document of the name because you're not uploading a name. You get what I'm saying? You upload music, artwork, and videos to be copyrighted. You don't upload a name. So you're like, flows. Dude, what the hell are you saying, bro? When you have a name and you're ready to establish yourself in the music business, inside the music database that's used since 1992, you need to check out any one of these two websites bandname.com and bandnamevault.com what this does is puts you in the music industry okay you are now known you're not solidified you're known meaning somebody can reference you somebody can take you serious on your work most people are just like yo let's just do a feature let's just put it out on spotify wait till the numbers run up blah 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 you're going nowhere real fast and you wonder why now when i first did this i registered my name as i flows as y'all know i have to sign in hold on it wants me to sign in and that's fine. No, I changed it. I gotta remember this stuff. What is it? I'll figure this. I remember it later. I'm already registered, but. Here, what you can do is you can search. So, let's just do a basic search. All right, this is wanting me to sign in to do it. I don't feel like doing that right now. But what this does, this one costs you $15 to register your name, to have a name in the music database, to be recognized by other professionals, by people who want to take you serious. Understand, no one can take you serious if you have nothing to show. Just because you put your stuff online doesn't mean you're established or no one knows who you are. Because when these record label executives or whoever, whenever these publishers and managers come around, like the real ones, the big times, and they want to do business with you, and you're not known yet, but they're ready to break you as an artist, they need to verify you. They need to be able to look you up and see that you're serious about what you do. So you can do bandname.com or bandnamevault.com. Why am I typing so backwards? I have no idea. But you see, <clears throat> right here, it already tells you who is who. That's me, and that's my partner, X the Hustler, right there. I shot a lot of his videos within this year. Don't worry about my numbers, because like I said, I don't do much as an artist. I have been spending my life establishing artists, but being the prime example of what an artist should do. Now, there's been huge debates that I should focus more on being an artist, but I always felt if I was taking more focus on me, it would take away from you. I wouldn't be helping you if I was more focused on feeding myself. You get what I'm saying? All this knowledge, all this food I ate, I'm full. I want to share my plate with you. 
My plate of knowledge is for you, whoever you are, whoever needs this. Okay? I believe this one is twelve. No, I believe this one is twelve dollars. This one is fifteen dollars. And anybody who's anybody is in here. I mean, just just go on here and just do a basic search. This one you can do a search. Bandnamevault.com. You can do a search for free. Like you don't have to log in. You don't have to anything. You know what I mean? But uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Anybody? My computer's tripping. My computer's tripping. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all probably. Like, hey, hey, hey. It's this freaking Grammarly. Like Grammarly sucks in 2020. Everything sucks in 2020. You notice that, right? But anybody that's anybody, anybody that's doing anything is on here. Anybody that's important is doing this. They're registered. You see what I'm saying? They're registered. This is how you get known. If you want a magazine to know about you, if you want a website to know about you, stop thinking it's this backyard, back home. I got a cheap ass Logitech camera out of Walmart and I'm about to start a podcast thing that everybody's doing. People really spend their hard, hard efforts to create these platforms, to create these appealing looks for you. And people just treat it like it's a guppy, like <laughs> I could do that with two viewers. Come on, man, this is a business. I want you to treat it as such. Treat this as if your life depended on it. Because to somebody else, like that guy, it does. So this is how you, as an artist, register your name. What this does is it puts you in the music industry as a real artist. You can be verified. I can look. If I know nothing about you and I want to know something about you, I want to know where you are, where you're registered, what, 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 what is it about you? Who follows you? Who's anything? Like, what have you done? This is how I look you up without even going on Spotify, without going on YouTube. You have to understand those are not professional platforms for a professional to verify you because it's too accessible it's too easy you're like flows but this is easy this is accessible but not everybody got fifteen dollars to spend now do they because if they did they would be doing this i rest my case you got the fifteen dollars though that's why you doing this stunting like your daddy right <laughs> come on man look at the numbers this will tell you who is who. You want to know who's doing what? I got 11 fucking followers. Come on now. I've only got 11 followers. This is the little Wayne. Do you see what's really going on in the music industry? I hope I'm educating, showing you something. This is not the billboards. This does not tell you, oh, Oh, Lil Wayne ain't really got that many followers like he's saying. He capping. He buying likes. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Not at all. These tell you each project on that platform. That platform. That platform. You see how I just clicked that and it opened up Spotify, right? Verified artist. By who? The Lil Wayne. And where did I get that from? Bandnamevault.com. Songkick. All of these sites you guys need to be on because this is how Lil Wayne gets his shows. How was Lil Wayne a headliner at $750,000 a showcase? It's not because he's selling music. Well, of course it is. But he's registered. His business is straight. If you get your business straight, your situation is straight, your livelihood is straight. That's all I'm trying to get across to people. So, I hope this shows you something. And I thank you for your time. It's greatly appreciated. This has been part two. How to register your name 
your name, record label, or band, whatever. This is how it's registered. This is how it's recognized. This is how Lil Wayne will do a feature with you if he can verify you. Not verify how many listens, streams, and likes you got because that means nothing. You can buy that stuff. Even Spotify sells likes. You didn't know that. I know. It's a lot you don't know. But that's why I got you, man. I'm flows. Make it all go, you know? Free artist development, baby. Part two. Register your band name right now. All you need is $15. That's it. I'll see you in part three.